Hi guys, so today I'm going to be unboxing the pre-order of the um, pop vinyl figures of Lord of the Rings. I pre-ordered them from popculture.com, so I'm pretty excited. Okay, so the first one we've got is the Balrog. This is one of the bigger figures. He looks so good, the colouring on him is amazing. I'm really, really happy with him. We're very excited to get him out. So he's all very neatly packed. I'm so excited. Okay, so this Saruman, he's even holding a Palantir. I'm sure someone will tell me that I pronounced that wrong. Um, I love him. He looks very good. Love his little stripes in his beard. And then we've got Gandalf the Grey. He's even got his staff and his sword. Glamdring from memory. And next, we've got Samwise. He's very sweet. Oh, he's glow in the dark. That's so exciting. So good. He's looking very good. He's even got his little sword. Little sword. And it looks like he's also holding the light of Arendil. If you can see them. Next we've got the Nazgul got the hollow, he's got no face, very dark. Oh, there's, there's some details on his um, gauntlets. I'm not sure if you can see that, I've got terrible reflection. Um, I'll take them all out of their box for a better look. Next I believe we have Frodo. <gasps> it's the limited glow chase edition! So that's him, I believe that's him after he got stabbed um, with the Morgul blade. So he's got sort of pale eyes and the sort of cracking face. Um, he's holding Sting that, and he's also holding the light of Arendil. So that's very exciting. Um, I'll have to unbox properly to show you. This is the six inch Balrog. He is so stunning i love the details you can really see it in his mouth you see the jaws you see the teeth the nose the eyes the painting detail i absolutely love it and on the horns it's just so wonderful the claws on the hands right down to the clawed the sort of hoof feet at the bottom and his um, wonderful flame whip it's all just done so well i'm so happy So that's him, that's the full thing. This is the back. Um, and now you can see some detail on the tail. It's got, you know, it's got each little bit. It's so great. Um, his wings are wonderful. It's got each little notch in it. It's got the bone structure. Um, and the flames on his head, I love, I love this. Um, it looks wonderful. Saruman, he looks great. You've got the grey in the beard, the palantir, his staff. Um, you've got the wrinkle, you know, the age lines on his face. So there's this wonderful detail you can see on his robes. Let's get a zoom in here. You can just see each like little bit of lace that's going on, the tied bit around his waist, um, and under his beard. There's so much detail under there on his robes. It's just it's so stunning. Um, there's a quick back view. And Gandalf, um, the detail on his staff is really great too. It's really, you know, it shows the curves in the wood. Um, his disgruntled hair, the, the smudge marks on his, on his face from fighting, his, his matted hair, his matted beard, his sword gently resting with his arms, with his hands clutched around it. Um, right down to the details on his robes. So 
Samwise, he looks really great as well. He's holding, you know, there's the detail on the sword. I can't get a good close up on it, but it's got, you know, tiny elvish on it. And uh, this is my cat. She likes to interrupt me when I'm doing everything. Um, but Sam lives to fight another day. Also, when you turn him around, you can see the detail they've put on the back. They've got his pots and his pans, his elvish rope. It's got everything. It's really quite stunning. I'm really quite, I'm really happy. The Nazgul, I think, probably has the most detail out of all of them. His shoes have the detail. I think um, his gauntlets are so incredibly detailed with each little, you know, metal notch on them. I don't know what they're called. Um, and his robes, you know, it looks like fabric. It's incredible. It's got, you know, dirt marks on it. It's got his folded leather belt. And just they really brought the darkness of the face to life. It's wonderful. So this is what the Frodo is meant to look like and I was lucky enough to receive um, a limited edition chase chase limited edition um, so this is Frodo either after he's been stabbed with the Morgul blade or um, stabbed by Shelob he's got his hair on his feet he's got the ring around his neck the detail on his jacket the clip um, holding his cloak And then this is all of them. I apologize for my dirty couch. It's sort of a hazard when you have a cat. Um, I really hope you've enjoyed this unboxing. I am so, as I've said over and over, I'm so happy with these. Um, I would absolutely recommend it if you are either a pop collector or a huge Lord of the Rings fan. It's a great addition to your collection. So thanks for watching.